So game four between the Bruins and Panthers this afternoon. The Bruins have a chance to take a 3-1 series lead and head back home for game five with a chance to close it out. Let's break down the game. Just under midway through the first, with the Bruins on the power play, David Pasternak feeds Tyler Bertuzzi, who fires a quick one-timer, and Sergei Bobrovsky makes an outstanding save to keep the puck out. The rebound comes right out to the slot, and Pavel Zaka tries to bury it, but Bobrovsky makes another great save. The puck stays loose and sits in the crease before Brad Marchand skates up, takes a couple swipes at the puck, and eventually scores. It appeared that the official blew the whistle prior to the puck going in, as he lost sight of it. The play would go under review, and it was determined that the puck completely crossed the goal line before the ref blew the whistle, so it was deemed to be a good goal. With time ticking down in the first, Charlie Coyle dumps the puck into the Panthers' zone and goes after it on the forecheck. He lays a nice hit on Casey Fitzgerald, and the period comes to an end. Garnett Hathaway looks to get into it with Gustav Forsling as the two exchange some shoves, but out of nowhere, Matthew Kachuk skates up behind Hathaway and cross-checks him right in the ribs. Hathaway goes down, and the refs immediately jump in to calm everyone down. This was honestly such a dirty play by Kachuk, and I think the league needs to take a look at this. If we take a look at the replay to get a closer look, you see Kachuk just bury his stick into Hathaway's ribs. I have personally been cross-checked like this before, and I can tell you that this hurts really bad. There is no protection in that spot between the bottom of the shoulder pads and the top of the pants. I can't even imagine how much pain Hathaway was in. I get Kachuk was probably frustrated after being absolutely laid out by Charlie McAvoy a few minutes prior, but you cannot do this. I wouldn't be surprised if he at the very least got fined for this cross-check. Kachuk would get a two-minute penalty to start the second period, and the Bruins would make it count as with just under 15 seconds to go in the power play, Taylor Hall enters the Panthers' zone and finds Dmitry Orlov on the wing, and Orlov then finds Jake DeBrusque out front, who redirects the puck in to put the Bruins up 2-0. Late in the second, the puck gets caught on the back of the net, rolls off, and Kachuk is at the side of the net and goes through the legs to score and get the Panthers on the board. Nice goal there. Early in the third, Nick Foligno gets the puck back to Brandon Carlo at the point. Carlo puts the puck on net and Bertuzzi makes an outstanding redirection to completely fool Bobrovsky and restore the Bruins' two-goal lead. A few minutes later, with the Panthers on the power play, Kachuk gets the puck over to Brandon Montour, who fires a quick one-timer, which is saved by Elmark. Sam Bennett is on the doorstep, though, and bangs home the rebound to bring the Panthers to within one. Then just under two minutes later, Hall enters the zone and finds Zaka in the slot, who fires a quick shot, which is saved by Bobrovsky, but DeBrusque finds the rebound and taps it home to put the Bruins up 4-2. Late in the third, Thomas Nosek flips the puck out of the zone, and Hall chips it by Radko Gudas to get loose on the breakaway. He makes a nice move and beats Bobrovsky to put the Bruins up 5-2 and pretty much seal the win. The Bruins would add an empty netter and take the win 6-2. I think the Bruins close out this series at home on Wednesday and move on to the next round. I just don't see the Panthers coming back being down 3-1. You never know though, so we'll see how it plays out. Let me know your thoughts below. Please like the video if you liked it and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching.